Good morning, boys and girls and Benji families. We are so grateful we get to reach out to you in this way and have a little Sunday school at home, a little lesson uh, where we get to share a little bit of God's love with you wherever you are. This week, we encourage you to use the materials that we've given you uh, in your email, use the videos as you like them, and use the packet that we sent you via email to have a little fun together as a family and share God's love together. This week, we're hearing the story of Abram and how God takes Abram outside and shows him the stars in the sky, and God makes a big promise to Abram that he's going to bless Abram with more blessings than the stars in the sky. It's pretty phenomenal. And so I thought this week I would take you outside and show you some stars around my house. The problem was I tried that three times this week, and the weather wasn't cooperating, and I couldn't get a good camera view of the sky. So instead, today, I'm going to show you some stars as they should look off of my daughter Courtney's planetarium projector, and it's just about as good as the real thing. So let's take a look. Wow, look at all those stars. There's so many of them. Do you think we could count them? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Oh, I missed that one. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, this is way too many. Look at all those stars. Isn't that incredible? This is a bit of what today's story is going to be about, about how there are so many stars in the sky and how God is going to make a promise that is more than those stars to Abram. And the story also is about how God makes big promises to us that are more than the stars in the sky and how God is going to bless us with more blessings than the number of stars in the sky. Let's hear all about it. Our story today is God's promises to Abram. God came to Abram and made a promise. Abram, you are very special to me. I will take care of you and give you lots of children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But Abram asked God many times, Are you sure? I don't have any children yet. God thought Abram needed something more to help him understand. So God took Abram outside and showed him the night sky. Your family will include as many people as there are stars in the sky, God told Abram. Abram stared up at all those stars. He couldn't begin to count all those twinkling lights. Stars and stars and stars all around him. Abram looked up at the stars and saw God at work. Abram believed God. Now for another promise, said God to Abram. You will need a place for your huge family to live. I will give you this land as I promised. Are you sure, God? Abram asked again. God made a covenant with Abram a promise that Abram would become a father and a grandfather and a great-grandfather and a great-great-grandfather and a great-great-great-grandfather and on and on and on. And all Abram's many, many sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters would live with God in the land on which Abram stood. Wow! That is a lot of kids and grandkids and great-great-grandkids and great-great-great-grandkids that Abram has promised. And you know what? God held true to God's promise. Abram, when he was an old man, had a little baby named Isaac. And Isaac had children and his children had children. And many of their descendants are people like you and me today, people who still believe in the promises of God. I want to invite you sometime, maybe tonight or later this week, to go outside when the stars are out and to look at them with your family and to imagine that God's promises are as many as those stars that you can see out there. God promises to love you and care for you in so many ways. God promises to bless you with lots of wonderful things in your life, people to care for you and good food to eat and clothes on your back. And as Christians, we get to be a part of bringing those kinds of blessings to the world. Uh, we are so grateful for the blessing we have in all of you and the ways that you bless us in our congregation. And we hope that you remember the many blessings that you have in God. Let's pray. Hey God, 
Thank you for your blessings for us. Thank you for your promises for us that are greater than the number of stars in the sky. Help us to remember that you bless us every single day with the promise of your love. Amen, 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 amen. <laughs>